In the world of technology and innovation, there are individuals whose contributions not only shape industries, but also redefine the boundaries of possibility. Today, our adventure takes us into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence, where we discover the genius of a man who's not just a researcher, but a visionary pushing the AI envelope, Andre Karpathy. But who is he, really? Could Karpathy be the architect of our utopian dreams, or are we hurtling towards a digital dystopia under his guidance? Listen in as we give you the down low on AI. Meet Andre Karpathy, a computer wizard with a fascinating journey. Born on October 23, 1986, in Bartislava, Slovakia, this brainy guy is a Slavic Canadian computer scientist. But hold on, his story takes a twist. He jetted off to Toronto with his family when he was just 15. Karpathy didn't just dip his toes into the world of computers, he dove right in. He scored not one, but two bachelor's degrees from the University of Toronto, majoring in computer science and physics. And just when he thought he had enough, he threw in a minor in math for good measure. While there, he stumbled into the rabbit hole of deep learning, thanks to Geoff Hinton's mind-bending class and reading groups. Momentum rolling, Andre set his sights on a master's degree at the University of British Columbia in 2011. Here, he dives into the fascinating realm of physically simulated figures. Did you know he worked on machines that could simulate runners and even crowds of people? MSc at the University of British Columbia, where I worked with Michael Van de Pan on learning controllers for physically simulated figures, i.e. machine learning for agile robotics, but in a physical simulation. He posted on his website, Carpathy.ai. And as if that wasn't enough, he decided to chase a PhD at Stanford. Carpathy improved methods for creating convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, which are systems that largely replicate the structure of neurons in the visual brain. He developed a system that was better at identifying specific objects and images, such as a dog or a person, by combining CNNs with other deep learning techniques. This system was also able to recognize scenes full of objects, such as multiple dogs and people interacting, and effectively construct a narrative about what was happening and what might happen next. These fancy words are basically the secret sauce behind things like computer vision and talking to machines like they're our buddies. And he just didn't learn from anyone. His advisors were like a dream team, Fei Fei Li at the Stanford Vision Lab, along with appearances from Daphne Collar, Andrew Ng, Sebastian Thrun, and Vladlin Colton. But here's the kicker. He's all about making this tech stuff understandable for everyone. He's like the cool teacher who makes complex ideas as easy to grasp as your favorite candy bar. Andre's flair for teaching exploded when he became the mastermind behind Stanford's groundbreaking class CS231N. Imagine a classroom where you crack the code to understand how computers see and think. From a humble 150 students in 2015, this class skyrocketed to 750 students in 2017. And guess what? Between all this, he squeezed in not one, not two, but three internships. First, he was at Google Brain in 2011, teaching computers to learn from videos. Then in 2013, he's at Google Research, tackling supersized learning on YouTube videos. And finally, he joined DeepMind in 2015, becoming a champ at deep reinforcement learning. Oh, and did you know? He's not just a computer geek, he's also a recognized innovator. MIT Technology Review crowned him one of their innovators under 35 in 2020. And here's a twist in the tale. Ever heard of TikTok? Yeah, the app that took the world by storm? Carpathy has something to say about it. He tweeted, TikTok is scary good. It's a digital crack. First time I feel attacked by AI in the brain. Seems like even AI wizards like him aren't immune to the TikTok addiction. Carpathy played a key role in the establishment of OpenAI an open AI research group that's pushing boundaries. He is a founder member of the Artificial Intelligence Research Organization where he worked as a research scientist from 2015 until 2017. But that's not all. In June 2017, the spotlight shifted as he joined the electrifying ride at Tesla. No, he wasn't designing sleek car exteriors or snazzy interiors. He was the brain behind the artificial intelligence that was slowly turning Tesla cars into self-thinking, self-driving marvels. The autopilot was no longer just about staying in your lane, it was navigating city streets like a pro. Did you know that nearly 70% of reported crashes involving advanced driver assistance systems since June 2021 were with Tesla vehicles? Now hold on to your hats, because here's where it gets interesting. While he was at Tesla, Andre wasn't just sipping coffee and watching AI magic happen. 
Nope, he was deep in the AI trenches, working on stuff like a humanoid robot named Optimus. Sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi flick, right? But that's not all. He was also the big boss of the computer vision team for Tesla Autopilot. That's the tech that helps Teslas drive themselves, in case you didn't know. But life's road is never straight, and Carpathy decided to take a detour. In July 2022, he tweeted, It's been a great pleasure to help Tesla towards its goals over the last five years and a difficult decision to part ways. He thanked Tesla and the Autopilot team for the ride and hinted at exploring his lifelong passions in AI, open source projects, and education. Even Elon Musk, Tesla's visionary CEO, gave a virtual nod to Carpathy's departure. Carpathy wasn't just a passenger. He was driving the AI innovation train at Tesla. He led a team of senior machine learning scientists and engineers who looked at machines and saw minds. Tesla's journey into self-driving tech hasn't been without its bumps. Remember when Musk promised a self-driving car that could go from Los Angeles to New York without needing a single touch by the end of 2017? Well, let's just say it's a bit like trying to teach a car to read a treasure map without getting lost. In 2019, Musk had a grand plan of having 1 million robo-taxi ready cars on the road by the end of 2020. Talk about aiming for the stars. But sometimes even the brightest stars take their time to align. While Tesla offers impressive features like traffic-aware cruise control and lane-keeping assistance, that coast-to-coast -coast autonomous vehicle demonstration is still a road less traveled. Tesla's most advanced system, the full self-driving beta, sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. But even here, there's a catch. This system is like a student driver with a vigilant instructor. It needs a human driver at the ready, hands on the wheel, and eyes on the road, ready to take over at any moment. Carpathy's journey with Tesla had its pit stops too. The closing of a Tesla office in California where teams worked on improving driver assistance tech marked a turn in the road. Records showed that 229 people were let go. Carpathy, who held the title of Senior Director of AI, was based in Tesla's former headquarters and reported directly to Elon Musk. Cut to October of the same year, the AI maestro shows up on the Lex Friedman podcast, dropping praise bombs about Tesla and Musk. Guess what? He's like, hey folks, I might just saunter back to Tesla at some point. Will he, won't he, was the talk of the town. Would Andre return to the Tesla fold? After leaving Tesla, he rolled up his sleeves and got into the open source arena. He created courses that teach you how to wrangle those neural networks and deep learning concepts. And guess what? He's not just giving you the ABCs of AI. He's also sharing advanced lectures on things like language modeling. And did you know he unleashed NanoGPT, a speedy tool to train not so tiny AI brains? It's like he's sharing his secret AI recipe. Carpathy tweeted on March 6th this year, The difficulty of alignment is to a large extent the elimination of probability to roleplay a good AI turned evil, in spite of the vast quantities of related content we have collectively created. In this sense, an unaligned AI would be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Translation, he's not just about building cool tech, he's also about ensuring it's used for the greater good. Now, in a surprising twist, as of the start of 2023, Carpathy was putting on a different hat. He's sharing his AI wisdom on YouTube, teaching everyone how to build artificial neural networks. It's like a coding class with the tech titan himself. And guess what? In February 2023, Carpathy announced his return to OpenAI. It's like a favorite character making a comeback in a blockbuster sequel. Some personal news. I'm joining OpenAI. Like many others, both in and out of AI, I'm very inspired by the impact of their work, and I have personally benefited greatly from it. The future potential is especially exciting. It's a great pleasure to jump back in and build, he shared on Twitter. From his stellar contributions to Tesla's AI endeavors, including the creation of a robot that seems straight out of a sci-fi movie, to his educational endeavors and open source projects, Andre is a force to be reckoned with in the world of artificial intelligence. How do you think Andre's return to open AI will impact the future of AI development? And if you had the chance to work with Andre on an AI project, what kind of project would you choose? Leave your answers in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, we'll see you guys soon.